Hey everyone, this is going to be a short tutorial on a new IV4 Grasshopper feature, namely um, unrolling a mesh with additional face geometry. Um, IV is now able to unroll a mesh and uh, also in the process unroll any uh, curved geometry that is specified for any individual mesh face. So let's get started. Okay, so what we have here at the as you see the definition is already made I'm just gonna quickly go through it I don't want to use a lot of time so what do we have here first of all we have the mesh that we want to unroll and another input is just a, a curve um, that is going to be used to, to uh, create the, um, uh, the the mesh graph weight okay so we have the, the mesh then we are creating a graph from the mesh um, here you can see the graph uh, enhanced preview is ticked so that's why you see the graph the way you, you see it then we're getting a list uh, with the uh, weights of the edges because we need them for the um, for the orange peel uh, component this component is able to create a um, special kind of weight distribution of the edges that allows the uh, mesh segmentation algorithms to uh, peel the mesh uh, sort of like a, an orange um, okay so uh, for this we uh, we need the, the the graph and we also need uh, the start vertices from where the peeling process so to speak is going to start the the graph verti the the mesh vertices uh, are specified uh, uh, through the uh, their mesh id so the mesh id i'm getting from uh, actually uh, deconstructing the mesh taking the vertices and uh, testing them uh, for a distance to uh, the points that i am getting by um, getting the discontinuities from the this input curve so basically the curve uh, is the is let's say evaluated for discontinuities and those points are used because they are exactly uh, some mesh vertices and uh, testing all of the mesh vertices for for distance to those to those points i am able to uh, get the vertices in the mesh where I want the orange peel process to start from uh, the orange peel uh, component outputs a list of edges the edges that are jumping from layer to layer in the orange peel process and uh, those um, edge in the indices I'm just uh, replacing in a list with all the uh, weight of the edges in the graph so instead of zero which is the default uh, weight for the edge I'm just inserting a one and then I'm adding all of those weights to the graph I'm just gonna hide this graph and I'm going to show this one So you can you can see that some of the edges already have a lot of weight added to them. Okay, then the the tree the, the graph is segmented into a tree. You can see it here. This is the tree, and it's a special kind of segmentation algorithm that uses um, a valence value. So namely, it tries to keep all the nodes that are joined into the graph with a, a two um, uh, two edge valence so basically every, every node it will try to have only two edges connected to it okay so this is uh, fairly standard IV stuff until here you've probably already seen from uh, other um, from other tutorials but uh, the, this uh, snippet of uh, grasshopper um, components here this group is basic is uh, actually the uh, way to create uh, I've used it to create the additional geometry that I'm going to add to the nodes now um, 
I'm not saying it's not uh, important, but uh, I'm not gonna go through it uh, in too much detail. The the reason for this is that it's basically just grasshopper components, and I'm just using them to generate um, custom, let's say, custom geometry for the faces of the mesh um, using this uh, bit of the for definition to actually create geometry only for some of the uh, faces of the of the mesh uh, long story short um, it outputs at the end a set of uh, curves uh, namely three triangles for all of the selected faces of the mesh so not for all of them I purposely did this so um, it will showcase this uh, new IV feature that um, where you can add this geometry to the mesh before you unroll it so it's not added post factum in the unrolled state it's un added before and the unroller takes care of placing all of the geometry in the right position so not all the faces need to have geometry it doesn't have to be the same for all the faces every face can have a custom geometry or uh, doesn't have to have uh, a geometry attached to it so for this I have uh, created um, I'm just gonna show you the geometry that uh, that uh, will go into the uh, roller I'm just gonna okay so it's basically a bunch of triangles that are um, kind of massed near the uh, nodes near the vertices of the mesh you can see here and uh, the the very the, the lowest faces the the ones that are sitting let's say on the bottom on the on the zero uh, plane don't have any uh, geometry any planar geometry attached to them so I'm just gonna hide this and I was talking about the new um, IV components so the first one it's called set no geometry and this one uh, actually takes the geometry that this part of the uh, of the definition outputs and uh, uses um, node identification number and then just creates a um, node container that uh, co uh, you know uh, packages this geometry together with the node identification and this is used by another component called um, node geometry to graph and this um, practically adds all the geometry inside of the graph so you can actually you can actually visualize this geometry I'm just gonna hide this preview uh, it's visible inside the graph um, you just um, need to plug in um, a mesh graph container and then you have it here and if you if you click enhanced preview and then you click on the graph you can see the geometry it's already showing um, with the graph so this is basically uh, shown through the uh, gra mesh graph component just gonna turn off the preview okay so going further with the uh, definition we I'm just taking the edges um, using this uh, edge type component from Ivy um, I want to find the edges that are have been cut through the segmentation process, the, the tree making process uh, in IV. I'm using those edges. I'm also unrolling the graph um, with this um, with this component, unroll graph. You probably know it. I'm just gonna copy this component so you can see something here. So this uh, this output here, it's uh, it's uh, spitting out all the the flat graphs that are coming out of the unroll. I'm just gonna plug something here I'm just gonna hit preview and you can see they they are all over the place so basically not useful but you can see them they're unrolled and there's another thing you can see if you, if you click enhance preview all of a sudden you can see that uh, the geometry from the from the mesh the geometry from the the mesh graph that have, has been brought into the into the graph is now uh, already uh, unrolled on the uh, x uh, y plane and uh, obviously from here on it's just uh, let's say standard IV stuff um, you also have the flaps standard flaps created and everything is uh, then inputted into this flat fab uh, component that has an extra output now 
aside from the cut uh, fold in fold out flat and uh, all that stuff you also have a in node curves output that obviously outputs the the uh, the curves from the from the the flat graphs but now in a fabricable let's say in a, in a cnc um, fabricable uh, uh, system uh, as as curves uh, also I have updated this cluster of components now it has an extra input and extra output where it just arranges in a grid the 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 pieces from the from the from the output so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show all of those elements and you can see here they're already baked I mean not baked but uh, unrolled and you can see they all have the tags and uh, the triangles are there and the flaps are there and the extra geometry is there and you can see there's a one-to-one -one correspondence with the geometry from the mesh and as you can see the, the triangles in the original mesh that didn't have any extra geometry don't have any geometry here either so it's basically a one-to-one -one correspondence and um, you know, I hope this brings um, enough uh, new functionality for now, and I'm just gonna, you know, keep updating this program, and I hope it's gonna be useful for you guys. So, okay, thanks a lot.